everybody, it's Lala X Spectrum here, and I'm here to do another book review. I'm in my room again, of course, because my dad's home, and um, instead of just using up the kitchen and interrupting whatever he needs to do in there, I decided to review in my room, and that's my dog barking. She probably hears me talking and my dad walking. I don't know. He's outside currently right now, but I just feel like it's easier for me to set up in here and get it done in here than actually go into the kitchen and do it there. So today I'm doing a book review on this book um, that I literally just finished. Um, and I started this book back in high school and um, <sighs> something happened, I think. I got close to the end of the year, I didn't estimate my time right, and I had to... Um, stop and like return it back before I could finish it so um, recently I got the book and I read it and I um, you know reread it from the beginning and um, so forth and so on so the book um, before I even talk about anything this book was written in 1976 so that's been quite some time ago of course that was before I was born because I'm only 20 something years old so um, this book is definitely before my time a little bit um, actually 20 years before my time, really, so, um, that was 20 years before I was even born, so, um, the fact that it's still being read today, by me especially, uh, is by saying something, I guess, um, it's called Are You in the House Alone by Richard Peck, and, um, he's a winner of the El Edgar Allan Poe Mystery Award, and here's the book I read, um, the version of it that I read, it's a very interesting cover. Um, the one I read in high school didn't look like this, it looked like a different cover. So, I don't know. I guess it's been, you know, released over and over again. Um, so, no big deal. The, this book is basically about, um, a girl who, um, uh, is kind of like living and going to school and she keeps getting these crazy um texts and calls and stuff like that mostly calls she's getting all these crazy calls and this guy is like i'm gonna do this to you and i'm gonna do that to you and she keeps getting letters in her locker and stuff and it's it's a very interesting concept i think kind of spooky um and i read a lot i mean i, I enjoyed i enjoyed it okay um I would probably give it mm, three or four stars, not really five, because about halfway through I just felt like it was rushed. Um, and I mean, it is from the 1970s, so um, the weirdest thing, and I didn't even know that until just recently, but um, I was reading it and the mom was going on and on and on about her daughter getting birth control, and I was like, when was this book written? And I looked it up and I was like, 1970s, oh, that makes sense why her mom would be going on and on and on about birth control. And, uh, I don't know, it just felt really outdated, and, um, it's still a spooky read. It's one of those reads that you might want to read, like, when it's raining outside, or it's kind of gloomy and scary outside, or maybe when you're by yourself at home. Um, it's a very interesting book. It's not very long. It's only 172 pages, so it's kind of a thin read. I read just about half of it in one sitting, so I'm sure you probably could read the whole thing in one sitting. I don't really have a lot of time to read in one sitting kind of books, so even the smallest of books take a couple of weeks for me to get through. Um, but it's a very interesting book. Quick read. Very interesting. Talks about different um, controversial topics that are going on. Like I said, birth control. It talks about rape. It talks about somebody following you. <laughs> I mean, it talks about some pretty controversial uh, subjects. So, if you're interested in that from a 1970s point of view, um, it's a very interesting book. Um, like I said, it's a little outdated, in my opinion, and I just couldn't completely connect with the characters, in my opinion. Um, the only thing I'll say about the book is it didn't really give me a whole lot of feeling of um, closeness, and I didn't really get a whole lot of background story that I really like tend to eat up. Um, but it's whatever. It's a very well written book. I had really no problems with it. There was a few things I just noticed I hated about it. Um, there was also a few times where, like, the parents of the popular society were having dinner with the children, but it almost made it sound like they were having a party in general for, like, the posh society of that town, and 
come to find out, the only people talking at dinner were the two parents that were involved, and then a bunch of the teenagers of the town, so I thought that was kind of odd that, um, they were having dinner with these teenagers. I mean, maybe that was okay back then? I don't know. I've never heard of, um, two grown adults having dinner with a bunch of, ch and like I said, it could be because it was the 70s, and the older people could have not been talking, but I could have swear, like, if we're talking about school and a college and stuff like that, if another parent's kind of pipe in and go, yeah, my kid's going to this college, you know, so, or maybe it was just meant for just these two parents and these teenagers, I don't know, I just, I don't know, something about this book, it was just crazy, <laughs> there were some things I was just like, huh, but, um, like I said, it's one of those books that if you want to sit down a quick read, that's a book, I feel like the 1970s, I had a good book. Um, if you like a lot of different controversial topics from the 70s and like how a 70s person would view that stuff, this is a book for you. Um, like I said, I didn't find out it was written in the 70s until the mom was going on and on and on about how the girl getting birth control and Planned Parenthood was actually kind of looked at as a good place and I don't know, Planned Parenthood has kind of gone down since then. But anyway, this book is not, this video is not about that book. So. Um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting read, so, uh, if you'd like, pick up a copy. Um, and if you've read this book, and you enjoyed it, or you hated it, or you loved it, or you somewhat loved it, because I, this book I'm kind of torn between, I kind of liked it in some parts, and in some parts I was like, ooh. Um, so if you've read the book, and you have some words to say, um, leave them below. Um, and maybe you know some books that are very similar, that are maybe a little bit more updated, and maybe I can enjoy. Um, just leave those below, and, uh... I'll see about reading them. I'm really interested in these kind of books where, you know, you're stopped because you get that scary feeling and it makes you feel paranoid in, in everyday life, even though you shouldn't feel paranoid, but I love that. I love the adrenaline rush of these kind of books. So if there's book, if you've read this book, tell me about it. How'd you feel? Leave it below. I would totally love to read your comments. And uh, maybe you want to read this book and uh, maybe you think this review was helpful or not. Leave it below. Just give me some feedback, guys. I haven't had any comments on any of my videos yet, so I would love to meet somebody who really enjoyed this book or really hated this book or felt the same way about this book. So leave that all below. Thank you guys for watching so much, and um, I've got a ton, ton, ton more books to read and review, and I'm working on them now. Um, I'm in my exam week now, which by the time you see this, will not I will be out of my exam week. But um, I'm doing exams right now, and... As of May the, May the, let's see, I think it's the 4th, May the 4th, that's my last day for exams at 10.30, I'll get out of school for the summer, and um, so I'll have more time to read my books that I've been wanting to read, and also the books people have sent me to read, so, um, if I haven't read your book yet, that's because, um, and also I have a ton of books I need to read, so the summer will be devoted to a lot of reading, um, and preparing for next year's classes as well, so, um, thanks. Thanks, guys, for bearing with me, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, if you would like to, please subscribe to me, and below you can find different links to all my social medias and where you can reach me. Bye!